All right, my friends, so I want to just quickly give you a quick overview of Slack. If you've never used Slack, you've never joined a Slack group before, I just want to kind of give you a quick glimpse of what to expect and what's going to happen. So for all the lessons, all the challenges, and the checkpoints a lot of way, you're going to see that the checklist for learning or understanding or just to show um, what you've been doing all requires you to head over to this particular Slack channel to share your questions, your ideas, your insights, photos and videos of your robot and photos and videos of your code. And so the way this works is you will receive a email from me when the course starts or a few days before the course and it's going to look like like this. You're going to get an email that's from Slack and it's going to say Aaron Maurer has invited you to work with them in Slack. And so when you click on this you're going to go ahead and you'll hit this join now and they'll just work you through some steps. Um, you might have to create an account if you're brand new to Slack. But this is what it's going to look like. So if it doesn't show up when the course begins, uh, one, let me know. Or number two, check your spam folder because it could be in there. And once you go through the steps of this join now, you can do it through your browser. There's also a app that you can use. This is what I'm showcasing here. Um, it will take you to this full stack learner group. Now, just so you know, there are a lot of channels you're going to get when you log into Full Stack Learner, all these channels, all these hashtags. And so I use this Slack. It's kind of like my hub for all courses and learning and just conversations. And so you're going to see some other ones. Feel free to jump in there, um, hang out, and participate in those. But for the course, we're really focused on these, the Lego, the Lego 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what you'll do here is in Lego, you see there's already some prior conversations from a couple years ago, but this is just general Lego. Um, whether it's about Mindstorms or just other things, this is for us to kind of think of it like our water cooler. Um, so things not specifically related to a lesson, uh, we can share here. This might be asking for classroom management or grants or whatever it is that you are curious to know more about, you can share that in here. And the way you do that is you just post a message, you click on the channel, and you just type your message and everything works just like you would use with any sort of tool. You know, you got your all your different types of fonts and labels and numbers and bullets. You can go over here and attach files and emojis. There's just lots of things that you can do. If you want to really highlight someone specific, you just use the at sign. And so if I was typing here and I want to make sure that someone sees that, you know, you could tag them in there and that'll get them. Um, a specific notification that they were pinged in it. In general, you should get notifications and you can turn your notifications on or off with your own personal settings. Then you'll see that I have created a separate channel for each lesson. This is to help just keep things organized. And so as we work through stuff, we're not having conversations with lesson one or lesson three or vice versa. So everything for lesson one um, on moves and turns will be housed here. Everything that you're going to share for Slack for this particular lesson will be that. And as we move through the course, you'll just go to the designated lesson and share those images and files and things like that. So that's just a quick overview of how it works. You don't need to be an expert on it. This is where we're going to house things. That way everything is stored for you. Everyone can see all the work. Um, and, and that things as well. We might have some outside people chime in because I do have other Lego people in this uh, Slack group so they might come alive once they start seeing some activity again. So don't be alarmed by that. Um, but it's all people that are trusted and it's our kind of little private back channel for us to learn and explore. So once you're in, obviously the task is to say hello and introduce yourself and that way I know that you're in. Um, and otherwise, if you have any questions about Slack, you can always feel free to reach out to me. We'll gladly help you out as we rock and roll. All right, my friends, I hope this quick overview was helpful. Wait for the email, join into the Slack, and we can get rocking and rolling. All right, my friends, stay awesome. Peace. I'm <laughs> going